today class we are going to learn about ratios of right angle triangles first let's learn how to label a right angle triangle in regarding to the given angle let's first look at triangle number one according to angle a labeling the sides according to angle a opposite of angle a we call it opposite side next to angle a we call it adjacent side and as we know the hypotenuse is always across from angle c now let's look at triangle number two which is exactly the same as triangle number one but labeling regarding to angle b in this triangle opposite of angle b is the opposite side adjacent to angle b is the adjacent side and remember the hypotenuse is always across from right angle c now let's look at drag ratio rules let's look at the first rule the tan ratio the tan ratio of an angle equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side let's look at this right angle triangle a b c and then come up with tan ratio of angle a let's label the sides of this triangle according to angle a four meters side four meters is opposite of angle a three meters is adjacent of angle a and of course five meters is always the hypotenuse across from angle c now we will apply to the formula that we have on the left side we leave tan a equals and on the right side we fill in the numbers the opposite side is four meters divided by the adjacent side three meters tan a approximately equals to 1.33 now we want to solve to angle a we bring the tan to the other side and the opposite of tan is tan inverse now to find angle a you press second or shift on your calculator then tan function to get the inverse tan then you plug in 1.33 you should be end up with 53.06 degrees which is approximately 53 degrees now we look at rule number two the sine ratio of an angle sine ratio of an angle equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse now let's look at this right angle triangle and look at sine a remember how to label the triangle according to angle a across from angle a is the opposite side next to angle a is the adjacent side and across from angle c is always the hypotenuse now let's find the ratio for sine for sine a we leave sine a on the left side and then we plug in the numbers for the opposite side is 4 divided by the hypotenuse is 5 now we can write that 4 divided by 5 is 0 0.8 now to solve for a we bring the sign to the other side which is sine inverse remember to press second or shift sign to get sine inverse to and then plug in 0 0.8 you should end up with 53.13 which is approximately 53 degrees the last rule is the cosine ratio the cosine of an angle equals adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse side let's look at this example to find cosine a now let's label the triangle according to angle a across from angle a is the opposite side next to angle a is the adjacent side and the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle c now let's find cosine a according to this triangle we leave cosine a to the left and then we fill in the numbers for the adjacent side is 3 divided by the hypotenuse 5 now 
3 divided by 5 equals 0 0.6. Now we want to solve for A, so we bring cosine to the other side to get the cosine inverse. Now remember to press on your calculators, second or shift, cosine button, and to get cosine inverse, and then plug in 0 0.6 you should get 53.13 which is approximately 53 degrees notice that we use the same triangle and angle a is always 53 degrees